Assalamualaikum and a good day again to everyone. This is video 3 for part 4, the analysis process introduction to data flow diagram. In this video, we will discuss on all of the data flow diagrams errors. Before we continue with this topic, I would like to remind everyone what have we discussed before. In video part 1, we have discussed the first step in creating a data flow diagram, that is to identify entity, data flow, process and data store. In the second part video, we have discussed step 2, creating context diagram, step 3, creating diagram 0 and also step 4 creating a child diagram. Our expectation for you before you watch this video is you would be already know how to create a context diagram and explode it into diagram 0 and then exploding it into further as child diagram. If you still have not understand these processes Please go and watch video 1 and video 2 or contact your lecturer. Video 3 will show us step 5 of creating a data flow diagram, that is check for errors. In creating a data flow diagram, we would see that we might encounter or created some errors among errors that always being done by the system analyst or the students itself is to forget to include a data flow or pointing an arrow in a wrong direction. We also might connecting data store and external entities directly to one another. We also might forget or incorrectly label processes or the data flow. This uh, the most common errors that most students do is to include more than nine processes on a data flow diagram. We also might be forgetting or omitting a data flow. And another important error is to create unbalanced decomposition or explosion in a child diagram. We will discuss this error in details after this. So these are some of the common data flow diagram errors. The first error that as you can see in the figure is what we call as a miracle, meaning that the process only have output data flow only. So for this error, how we can correct the error is by making sure that there's an input data flow and also output data flow for the process. The second error is when we only have input for our process or we call this as black hole. To correct this error, we just need to make sure that the process has an output data flow. Another common error is when we directly connect one data store to another store with a data flow. For this, we need to make sure that we have a process in between the data store to make sure that the to make sure that we show how does the data flow from data store 1 is being processed and then it might be stored in another data store. Another data flow diagram error that we might find is when we connect an entity directly to a data store. A data flow cannot move directly from an entity to another data store. So you need to make sure that there is a process in between an entity also a data store. There must be an input 
from the entity to the process and it will be output from the process into the data store. Another problem that we can see is that when you relate or connect an entity directly to another entity. This also can be solved by creating a process in between the entity. We might also see there's an error when you connect a data store directly to an entity. Also, for this error, what we need to do is to make sure that we identify an appropriate process that will show us what happened to the data from the data store and it will be given back to the entity. Another error that we might see is when we have an arrow with two direction. We understand that you wanted to represent this by saying that there's a data store that is going into a data uh, uh, there's a data flow that wa that's going into a data store and you wanted to say that it's going back to a data process however you should represent it as two separate uh, data flow because we might it might represent that a data the first data store the first data flow is being read into the system and then it might give you another type of data that is going back to the process. Another data flow error that we always encounter when we draw our DFD is when we have a data flow in which we call as a fork. If you have a data flow represented like this, it must be a same data, not a different data. Means that the same data from process 1 is being passed through process 2 and process 3. This fork should represent the same data in the data flow. Another common errors that we have do that we have encountered is when we have a data flow like this, which is a join. This is also the same with the previous error where the data flow that you put in as a join must be a same data flow, meaning that the same data flow that comes from process 1 going into process 2 is the same data that comes from process 3, meaning that process 2 needs data from process 1 and also process 3. So remember, it must be a same data flow. Another thing that you need to remember that a data flow cannot go directly to the same process without going through another process. Reminder, this is not an entity for your entity relationship diagram ERD, but this is a data flow diagram. So this data flow is not allowed in data flow diagram. So how can we fix this is by showing what are the process involved in creating or in having the same data, meaning that data flow A needs to go into process 2 and process 3 before it is being given back to process 1. Okay, we need to show the cycle of the process by telling the system that it should go into another process. So these are some examples again for data flow diagram errors. This is one of the most uh, common mistake made by student. As you can see here, process 1, calculate gross pay, it does not have any output data flow. So this 
error is being called as a black hole where it only have process with input data flow no output data flow so how can we fix this is to identify an output data flow you have to remember that every process must have an input and output flow another mis common mistakes in dfd is when you have a data flow which goes directly from one data store to another data store and how we can fix this error yes by identifying a process in between the data flow where the process should uh, receive an input data flow from d1 going into a process and then turn it into another data output data flow to be go into data store d3 so every data from a data store must go through a process so these are again some of the most common examples that we can find in a, in a data flow diagram so based on this error are you able to fix the error mistakes if yes then you can discuss it with your lecturer and try to fix or create a new DFD for this error. That is the end for part 3, DFD errors. Thank you.